Hi everyone, I hope you're doing great. So this week I wanted to give you some information about the French wine classification system, all right? So remember that when you look at any French wine labels, you will always find some information about the, the origin of production. And that's what I'm gonna talk today, all right? So basically, French wine has three levels of, um, let's say, quality. It used to be quality, all right? Uh, that's the wine classification system. So back at the beginning of the 20th century, uh, it was created to help the consumers to have some uh, information about the, the quality of the wine. So there was these three levels, the appellation, the IGP, of un pays and the just table wine or vin de France. So I'm going to talk about these three just today. Um, so the first, that's the appellation, the AOP, Appellation d'origine protégée, or just AOC, Appellation d'origine contrôlée, that's the same. So it gives you some information about the, the, the location of productions, but with some specifications in terms of loaded grape varieties in terms of uh, conditions of productions and minimum quality expected for the wines all right so the aoc the appellations that's the 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 level of quality that you find mostly everywhere and in the past that was supposed to be the, the highest quality that you can have with a french wine so an aoc an appellation that can be a very a very wide area like Bordeaux, for instance, a regional area, or that can be very specific to a, a plot of vine. Uh, let's take an example, Burgundy, for instance. Sometimes in Burgundy, an appellation in just a small area. All right? So it's, it's really, uh, it gives you the origin where the wine comes from with some very strict uh, regulations of, in terms of wine productions. All right? So let me give you an example. I have with me a bottle I have with me a bottle of Mont Louis sur Loire, uh, and in the back label it says Appellation Mont Louis sur Loire contrôlé. So that's the, the, the village where the wine is produced with some rules about the wine production. So, second level that's the IGP, Indication Geographique Protégée. In the past, it used to be called also Vin de Pays. So you can still find sometimes on labels Vin de Pays plus the name of uh, the, the, the area of productions. Um, compared to an appellation, it is uh, more open and less restricted in terms of uh, uh, allowed the grape varieties they can use, about the, uh, the, the condition of productions, and it covers much wider and larger area. So it's more like a regional appellation with um, less restrictions, all right? So look at this label. Uh, that's a wine from the Languedoc. It's just written on it. Indication géographique protégée, Pays d'Oc, all right? So Pays d'Oc, that's an IGP, um, regional appellation from the south of France. And you have many others in different areas in France. And then after the... IGP, at last, you have the uh, Vin de France. So Vin de France means, in French, wine coming from France. So, it, so all the grapes, they can come from different, different places. They can be blended. So basically, with a Vin de France, the winemaker can do what he wants. All right? Uh, so Vin de France, in the past, it was called table wine, a Vin de table, and it used to be the, a very cheap and low quality uh, uh, table wine that people were drinking uh, almost uh, all the time for lunch, for dinner. And uh, my grandparents, they used to drink a lot of this table wine, very cheap. Uh, and today, the French would drink really less wines than the, the previous generations. So, Vin de France now has a bit changed. And today, it, it covers areas of vines which are not ranked into, uh, which are not within an appellation, all right? So sometimes a winery owns a few vines which are not 
inside an appellation so they can just label their wine Vin de France. So it means that today you can find both really high quality wines and uh, really cheap and uh, also still low quality. You can find both. So it, that, it's not because it's written Vin de France that you're going to have something um, low quality, all right? So um, I have one example with me today. I have uh, an amazing wine from the Corsica Island, uh, and that's an amazing producer. And if you, if you look at the back label, it says Vin de France as well. And that's a very premium wine, delicious wine from Corsica. That's, that's the example of something really great, which is not uh, within an appellation. So keep in mind these uh, classifications. First, the appellations, all right, AOP or AOC, Appellation d'Origine Contrôlée. Second, you have the IGP or Vin de Pays, which covers a much larger area. And then the Vin de France. You will always find one of these three in any French wine labels, all right?